Yeah, I mean, it's, I feel pretty good being here as uh, the guy, I guess, as Christian Grey. This is, this is what it's all about, you know. This is what we did it for, nights like this, and get to show it off and uh, and see what the reception is. And yeah, it's, it's insane, but it's brilliant. I mean, I think Christian Grey is this very tortured, tormented, uh, broken, unhappy man uh, who really struggles with contentment. And uh, he's been through awful stuff in his youth that has made him that way and that has uh, manifested itself in how he approaches business and how he approaches relationships and how he's sort of incapable of love and um, and it's quite heart he's quite a heartbreaking character to be honest um, I, uh, I find myself feeling sorry for him quite a lot um, he's obviously got all the wealth in the world and everything but if you can't be happy what's that mean yeah I mean Dakota's great I mean the, the first time I met her I sort of knew that like we'd be like mates you know she's very funny i sometimes think i'm funny and we just had this sort of rapport with each other that was easy and then over time we built up a, a you know trust for each other you know and you need that with any actor or actress even if you're doing a day with them but given the amount of time dakota and i spent together and the nature of what we were doing um trust was the most essential thing you know and um i felt that we had that in abundance so yeah, I mean, to be honest, you have time to sort of uh, think about that and you've done all your thinking before, you know, I nearly got the part before and then someone else got it, you know, so I'd sort of done all my thinking about about what it would mean getting it and then suddenly, you know, unforeseen circumstances I'm, and I'm back in it. Um, so uh, I'd got my head around it by that stage and I was feeling good about it. I mean, I genuinely, uh, I would describe Fifty Shades of Grey as being, it's, I do think, honestly, it's a love story and people talk about the sex and look, sex is a massive part about it and it's an erotic a series of novels and it's an erotic film, but um, it's still got a love story. You know, you don't sell that many books and, and keep people's interest over three long books without there being, it can't just be three long books about S&M sex, you know, it has to be a, some, a story, it has to be something at the core. And that is a love story and it's these two people who, you know, on paper shouldn't really be together and uh, make massive sacrifices to make it work. And, you know, we've seen that before in stories gone by and I think that's what, uh, that's what got people's interest.